Daniel is all alone in his lonely cabin, trying to take the chill off of it with a nice roaring fireplace. He decided he's going to go ahead and stick it out and stay for the weekend and enjoy the peaceful time, regardless without Shamia, his weekend date. Man, I can't believe it. What other woman would not like to have a cozy fireplace, a cozy chalet cabin in the mountains? Some people just don't realize or they recognize what they're really missing. I can't believe it. Man, any other woman I know would love this kind of spoiledness for a weekend getaway from civilization. I just don't get it. Come in. It's you, Shamia. I know you're probably cold. Come on in. Well, hello. It's not her. It's Jayla. Oh, hey, Jayla. How's it going? Oh, it's going okay. It's going all right. I um, actually came by because I did not pack my can opener. Oh, wow. So you can't even eat your baked beans. <laughs> no, I really had my mouth waiting for it. And I honestly can't believe I'm, uh, you know, I always pack right. I packed all my equipment. I packed everything but the can opener. I mean, how airhead can somebody be? No, that's not about being airheaded. You know, you just forgot it. And it's okay. It's You're, you're human. Aw, oh, yeah. So how's it going with you? <sighs> As you see, I'm alone. Yeah, I heard. You heard? What did you hear? Well, I mean, I heard voices. And I heard a female's voice. And I guess she went on and left. You know, so what happened? I'm so embarrassed. Why? Why would you be embarrassed? Because who else would not appreciate a man who really thinks out a nice romantic weekend and they don't appreciate anything? I mean, honestly, she did not like what I planned for this weekend. Really? Why would she not like that? Well, apparently she's high maintenance. And she likes to be staying at a five-star resort hotel or she likes to be whisked away to a Catalina Island or something for the weekend. Well, I guess. I mean, she's just high maintenance. And you know what? I don't have the time for that. Oh, wow. Wow. She turned you down? Really? You're such a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was a nice guy, too, until I met her. And then now she just totally just ripped my heart upside down. And, oh, I'm so sorry. How long have you guys been dating? Oh, well, this is only a second date. You know, I was just trying to be romantic. Uh, the first date we had, she was always on her cell phone. She was always texting. She was always on Instagram. She was always doing Facebook. Whatever it was, she was always doing Internet stuff. So I decided to go ahead and do this for the weekend to get away from that. You know, get her away from that. I wanted to learn more about her inner self. I wanted to learn more about what she's about. You know, what she's like. What she wants. What, But apparently... You know, I just, well, I guess you already found out what she really wants. <laughs> she wants high maintenance, man. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, she, she, I mean, she totally came in here and she said, oh, you know, I can't believe you got me this little cheap place. And, you know, I thought I was going to say at a five-star resort. And I like, and, you know, this is a really cute cabin, though. I really like it. I mean, it's nice and cozy. And, you know, it's not big, but it's perfect, you know, for what you need to do, you know. Well, that's what I said, but she totally turned it around and made it look like I was a cheap goat, and she got mad because I got Doritos and white popcorn, and, and there's nothing wrong with Doritos. I love Doritos. Really? Yeah, I love Doritos. That's my favorite chip, you know, besides Sun Chips, but wow, I'm, wow, how could she not, wow, really? So she's gone. Yeah, yeah, she's gone. Well, I was hating to interrupt, you know, because I needed a can opener. But, you know, I'm sorry that it didn't work out for you, Daniel. No, oh, it's all right. You know, I'm just getting this roaring fireplace started and it's starting to feel kind of nice now. It was kind of cold in here. She complained about that, too. She asked, she, can you believe she even had the nerve and the audacity to ask me where was the heat thermometer thermostat at? <laughs> like, we have central heating? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, isn't that a trip? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, that's your guitar. 
Yeah, that's my baby. That's my second baby. Oh, really? What's your first baby? Well, my first baby is really getting this fire started right so it can get warm in here. It is kind of cold, you know. Yeah, my uh, cabin is like really cold right now. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's going to be a really cold night, you know? Yeah, yeah. So you play the guitar in your band, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm pretty good at it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I always wanted to play the guitar. Really? Yeah, but I was never a six-string person or a five-string person, and you got to move your hands up and down and on the neck part of it. And, you know, I'm cool. You know, I'm not, you know, mm -mm. really, but you do rock climbing, but you won't play a guitar. Well, no, because it's kind of intimidating. Well, rock climbing is really intimidating. Well, not really. I'd rather rock climb than play a guitar. Well, I'd rather play a guitar than rock climb. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take you on that. I'm going to take you rock climbing. I'm going to see if you can do it. No, 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 no. Hey, I'm good. You know, you don't see too many African Americans hanging on no, no ropes and stuff, hanging on cliffs and stuff, you know, and I, I'm good, you know. <laughs> you're so funny you know but i would love that you know to challenge you on that i mean because hey i'm a good arm wrestler and i beat my brothers oh really yeah yeah i beat them all the time oh okay all right it's on then but i'm not rock climbing you don't have to rock climb <laughs> it's okay yeah yeah you're really cool you're really cool well thank you yeah thank you yeah Really cool.